With the abundance of video that's being recorded in our culture and our society today, video recordings are being used as evidence more frequently in cases in litigation. Because of that reason, video can be considered an eyewitness or be considered as eyewitness testimony if the authenticity of the events that it represents is verified. And that's under the silent witness theory. So the video authentication investigation that we perform here at Primo Forensics is broken up into two major parts, digital integrity verification, as well as authenticity or authentication of the pixel content. The objective of the digital integrity verification part of the investigation is to determine if the recording we're presented is consistent with what we would expect to see as an original from that system that produced it. So is the digital information that accompanies the file consistent with what a sample with that came right out of that recorder would have produced? And determine if what inconsistencies or consistencies may be present, because a lot of times video recordings are simply mishandled. And that information is either altered or stripped based on that mishandling, which can affect the outcome of an investigation. But a lot of people will jump right to the conclusion that the video is edited or it's been manipulated in some way, shape, or form, and that's not always the case. The rules of evidence state that video recordings can be edited if the events that are represented are authentic. So if irrelevant portions of video recordings are removed, that's okay. But if there's something that's removed from a video that's relevant to the investigation or the case or the matter at hand, that's not okay. And the video has been tampered with, and an expert like myself has to provide that information in a scientific way so that the trier of fact, judge, jury, and litigators can make a determination. With higher quality systems becomes storage constraint. And the way that manufacturers of these digital video recording systems are trying to combat that is to introduce compressors or compression, spatial and temporal compression. And that affects how the video pixels are captured, the quality level of those pixels, as well as the series of pictures and how they're recorded of the events that naturally occurred. So investigation of the compression type and the compression levels will heavily affect the authenticity of the events. Is that subject's shoes really red? Are they wearing a hat? Is that vehicle the vehicle that someone is saying it really is? Our experts and technicians at Primo Forensics really enjoy the opportunity to determine if something is real or fake because there's so much of it out there. And to do it from a scientific approach is really rewarding to assist the trier fact. It's one of the most enjoyable parts of my job as an expert as being put on a stand and educating a room of people that really just want to understand what it is that I'm reporting on. Understand the science, understand my opinions, and follow my mental process of how I arrived at my conclusions. Here at Primo Forensics, we've prided ourselves for 35 years on pro bono telephone consultations. You've got a question about your video recording and, and need some help understanding the role it plays as evidence. Contact us.